So for today, we're going to be covering Warlock again. Uh, specifically, I got a comment asking for Necrotic Grips. The same person that got the Warlock video is getting another video, Wild. But if you comment uh, a certain exotic or anything really, most likely I will try to find a way to make a video on it. And if you just specifically ask for, hey, can you do Necrotic Grips? I'm going to do it. So yeah, if you guys want to see a specific exotic, uh, Hunter Titan Warlock does not matter. Let me know in the comments below and I will make that video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow because a huge portion of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, if you guys like the video, if you guys like the content, then a subscription would be very much appreciated. And if not, like, sharing, all that would be very much appreciated as well. So let's just get into it. So Necrotic Grip is a interesting exotic. Uh, if you don't have any of the ornaments, it's gonna be a little bit more annoying to fashion in my opinion so as you guys can see necrotic grip has a very like uh almost deteriorated look there's a lot of like just stuff falling off of it there's a green glow to it there's wires there's it's necrotic grip visually is really cool but it is unfortunate that the glow does not change color and that the like disintegration pieces just stay there so this is very much going to be a specific style of uh, weathered green, basically. As for how it shaders, it shaders really well, uh, which is really weird because usually when I, I see something that doesn't change color, specifically like a glow, I get really mad. But thankfully, this changes a lot of the colors. You guys can see uh, like part of the wire tubing actually changes color. The actual like cloth on the inside changes color Every, almost everything about this changes color aside from maybe the strap at the beginning of the actual arm and I, I think that's it actually to be quite honest aside from the actual wire but the wire doesn't really matter uh like i said this exotic is very deteriorated very like almost worn out your best bet is going to be to pair it with certain looks that have like a very weathered look something that looks like you've worn it a lot as for my practice armor the reason i am going for this specific look that i have is because i am leaning into the glow i 100 percent leaning into the glow for the shader we're using venomous which is a shader from last season if i remember correctly and i love this shader as you guys can see the glow matches perfectly with the actual glow from the arms and the really cool thing is corrupting echo actually has that green glow just by default so if you guys really want to combine or use an, something that has that green glow venomous with a combination of corrupting echo is going to be really good i also put the illicit reaper hood on because i might as well just lean into the green a lot more unfortunately i wish we had a little bit more glows in the game for warlocks that had better glows because originally I was thinking maybe I should use a glow, a helmet that has a glow and most of them I didn't really like. So the Illicit Reaper hood was the best choice and I, I actually stand by it. It looks really cool. The only thing that I think looks kind of boring is the Street, street Scholar boots. But at the same time, I didn't want to have anything too crazy for the boots because that's not what I'm showcasing. What I'm showcasing is like legitimately the glows and that's it actually like it's mostly just the glows uh the meridian constellation the reason i'm using that one is because i really really like it i love that the glow on the on the thigh is very very nonchalant like it's not super big in your face but it's just enough that it combines everything really nicely and the fact that venomous has that glow that's almost the same color that of the uh necrotic grips is just beautiful so again this is going to be something you're going to pair with. Uh, it really goes well with everything. Just be aware that the like necrotic grips default look looks very worn out. So just be aware of that. For the first ornament we're going to be looking at for necrotic grip, it is the Novi Villagree. I don't know how to say this. It's it that it's there right there. Uh, it's probably one of the more better ornaments for this exotic. And it looks really cool. It loses its glow. So if you guys are interested in just having something that looks really cool without a glow, you're going to want to get this ornament. It has a really cool regal look, almost like too way too fancy for these arms. I, I love the wires as well. I love that they kept that there because it looks cool as hell. 
And as for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. I think uh, there's not a lot that I could really complain about the shader. The only thing that I really do complain about it, or at least like my head goes to, is the fact that the for echoed anger specifically you can see this red band right there i'm not the biggest fan of that if it was just one thick color i would have been okay with that but the fact that it's actually multiple colors on the forearm is it, it messes with certain pieces just be aware uh for the practice armor i actually love what i did so like i said this is a very regal looking exotic or the at least the ornament is so I decided to really just go all in with it. I'm using the Celestine robes because it looks amazing. I'm using the Elect of the Empty Hood, which is one of my favorite hoods for Warlocks. And for the Bond, we're actually using the Street Scholar Bond because I love the glow on it. And I really wanted to have a purple glow to accompany the Elect of the Empty Hood. And then the Boots of the Great Hunt for the actual boots themselves, I think is just a no brainer. All of it just really melds into a really good like almost bougie looking uh ex like outfit in my opinion i love so many pieces from this i love that the pants are actually purple i love that the arms and the hook or the chest piece are actually com combining really well specifically what i'm talking about is the arms and part of the elbow are perfect for each other because they're both black and you might be thinking like why does that matter well uh, the arms, specifically at the forearms, that's where the exotic starts. So the the uh, ankle, ankle, yes, no, the elbow. There we go. The elbow, and are uh, yeah, yeah, the elbow. I'm probably having it on the screen right now, but this specific sp spot is the chest piece. So I really like that the chest piece and the arms fit together really well that way. Overall, this is like probably one of my favorite looks four necrotic grips and if i made this exotic more i would probably use these these ornaments specifically so let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments below definitely one of my favorites let me know what you guys think about the first one as well uh i'm honestly kind of torn i like both of them really really like a lot but personally i would probably say that this one just looks a lot better but again it's really hard because i really like both so we're not done. I know I just made it sound like I was done. I do have a bonus for you guys uh, because Necrotic Grip actually did get a new ornament this season. It's not out yet for Bright Dust and I'm not going to buy it for real money because I don't buy stuff for real money in this game. But if you guys want to, I did end up making a SIVA inspired warlock. It looks really cool in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we're going to go through everything first. So here it is. Uh, replicate replicate exploit i think it looks pretty decent it's not like one of the better siva looks that we have in the game i think the hunters have a really good chess piece for siva but i i still think this is gonna look good on certain people as for how it shaders it shaders pretty well surprisingly uh the wires change color the like siva stones change color the actual arms change color everything changes color which is fantastic this that is what you want to see in an exotic for the practice armor this is where we get a little spicy so i have interlaced robes for the chest piece specifically because it goes really well with the siva arms as you guys can see one of the sides is actually just pure electric and that fits perfectly for siva uh for the boots we're using legacy oath uh boots just because that's a no-brainer that's a lot of tech uh like a lot of uh, technical stuff in the arm and the in the legs you guys can see wiring there's a lot of stuff in there i think it looks perfect we also using the legacy oath cowl which is the helmet personally i'm using this because of the human jaw i think it's it fits perfectly with it and then the bond is a little weird i i will admit this is a little weird but i'm using the thorium holt bond mostly because it has a lot of wiring in there uh if there is wiring i think siva fits perfectly with it because siva is very uh it's like electrical it's like uh, i don't i don't have to explain siva like it just makes sense so let me know what you guys think about the siva inspired armor in the comments below i do understand that i'm using more than i'm using two pieces of the same armor piece but when it comes to like siva specifically uh, it's okay because we don't have a lot of armor that's like electrical and like technical like that so 
when it comes to stuff like this i'm like super okay with it i will never judge people for it even even like regular outfits when people just have more than two pieces i'm just like if it works for you bro that's cool just don't ask me how i think about it because i'll probably be mean about it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below eclipse hopefully you like the video uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below which is your favorite let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below i will be doing some other exotics i've been thinking about doing some more uh titan stuff because we haven't seen a titan one in a while and there's a lot of good exotics that they have so again if you guys want me to specifically do an exotic for a certain class let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely do it for you but be safe and i'll see you guys later